Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar, and today we are going to discuss another very important data set that is ImageNet. So, let me tell you that uh, ImageNet is an image database like MIST, and it is organized according to the WordNet hierarchy, in which each node of the hierarchy is depicted by hundreds and thousands of images. So, this particular project has been instrumental in advancing the computer vision and deep learning research, and obviously, it is freely available. So a lot more uh, researchers uh, have been discussing the uh, different kind of research notions uh, according to their research domain about this particular data set. And uh, they are making use uh, of uh, this and the other related image data sets. So why ImageNet is important? Because the first question comes to mind that when we are going to use this particular data set, what is the things related to this particular data set? So let me tell you that uh, more than 14 million annotated images are available within this particular data set and uh, since uh, 2010 it is used in ImageNet large scale visual recognition challenge so it's a kind of benchmark in image classification and object detection so if you are going for some sort of image related operations like image classification clustering etc then you should go and have a kind of exploration with respect to this particular data set and uh, uh, when we talk about the different sorts of activities, then as I told you that you can do the kind of classification clustering. But in addition to this, you can have a lot more other related research activities. And if you don't know much about this particular field, then you can go and have a kind of exploration with respect to the related articles who have made use of this particular data set. So when exploring or doing research at my side, I also came across multiple articles. And you can go and have a kind of exploration through some uh, engine means a search engine like Google Scholar, etc. So there you can have the kind of different uh, research works. So let me tell you some of the works who have made use of ImageNet. So one of uh, them is learning transferable architectures for scalable image recognition. So it, this particular data set used the concept of ImageNet and had a kind of uh, notion understanding of transferable learning. Then the rethinking and the image in, and rethinking the inception architecture for computer vision. So they have used this particular data set in a field of computer vision. Then the quantization and training of neural networks for efficient integer arithmetic only in, inference. So here they have used the neural network concept for the efficient uh, integer arithmetic. And uh, the mobile net v2 means more than two, they have named it and uh, the specific meaning of this particular paper comes to the inverted residuals and linear bottlenecks so in this way multiple papers are available i'm just uh, telling you a few but you can go and have a kind of exploration with respect to the kind of available research articles then when we say that uh, so much data is available then what sort of other things uh, related to this particular data set so if you go I means uh, if you come at this particular page uh, the url is highlighted over here and uh, here you have the download menu so you go to download menu and here you'll have the related information and here they have simply stated that the most highly used subset of imagenet is the imagenet large scale visual recognition challenge just uh, i was talking about this okay and uh, the image classification and the localized uh, localization related data set it is and this particular data set uh, spans a thousand object classes and contains more than 1 million training images 50000 validation images and 100000 test images so uh, in this way you can see that uh, how large this particular data set is and this subset is available at kaggle free of cost so you can go and have a kind of downloading or exploration at your site and do what sort of whatever sort of uh, research you want to have a kind of exploration with so thanks for watching this particular video and if you do want uh, some analysis or the kind of uh, links related to some data sets please comment down below and let us know we'll try to bring it for you Thanks for watching again. Have a lovely